Anyone with allergies needs to check this out. I'm talking about seasonal allergies, hay fever, or in medical terms, allergic rhinitis. Rhino means nose, your nose is allergic. Anyway, there might be a natural treatment that works better than allergy medication, and it's called spirulina. These little algae are considered by many to be a very nutritionally complete superfood, and today we're looking at a paper that compared them to allergy medication. Here's the paper, and here's what they did. They took 65 people with allergies, did skin tests to make sure they actually had allergies, and randomized them into two groups. They did some baseline measurements, asking them about allergy symptoms and measuring levels of inflammatory markers in their blood. One group took 2 grams of spirulina every day, and the other group took 10 milligrams of daily cetirizine, also called by the brand name Zyrtec. This is a popular and pretty effective allergy medicine, so it makes for a strong comparison group. One of the sleaziest moves in research, <clears throat> big pharma, is to compare a medication to nothing or to something that doesn't work and say, wow, look, our new drug works better, buy it for a lot of money. But back to business. The two groups took their respective treatments for two months, then came back and did the same tests. Overall, I have to say pretty strong methods. Only thing I would fix is that it wouldn't be super hard to double blind the study instead of single blinding it. This wasn't clear, but I'm guessing they just didn't make the two treatments look the same, so the patients probably knew what group they were in. So what did they find? Exactly what we were hoping for. It looks like it works. Both groups had statistical improvements in all of their symptoms, but spirulina actually outperformed cetirizine when it came to runny nose, congestion, and ability to smell. It also outperformed the cetirizine in reducing several inflammatory markers. It looks like this might actually work. Talk to your doctor, take them this paper, and see if there's any reason you can't try this. This study is solid, and the results line up with some other literature in the same area. As always, if you learned anything today, please drop a like on this video. If you want to know more about spirulina and allergies, you can also watch this next video.